A Cheeky Tickle. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Narcissists do not like to be touched unless we want you to touch us. Your touch provides us with fuel and demonstrates that you're under control. So, for example, a narcissist might invite you to rub their back. If you do so, that shows you're under control and your positive act provides the narcissist with some positive fuel. A narcissist might seek a hug. Again, if you comply, you demonstrate you're under control and you're providing fuel to the narcissist. If, however, you touch a narcissist without being invited to do so, you are then threatening the narcissist's sense of control because touch suggests connection and intimacy. And whilst the narcissist is keen to engender that in terms of you demonstrating intimacy and you being connected to us, where you appear to be trying to generate that in us, that amounts to a threat to control and therefore must be rejected. Where the narcissist expects you to touch her or him and you do so, you are simply demonstrating that you're under control and the act itself provides fuel. And therefore, it's wrong to suggest that all narcissists don't want to be touched. It's simply the case that the narcissist will only want to be touched on the occasions where it works for the narcissist. Now, there will be some people who are not narcissists who say, no, I don't like to be touched without invitation, possibly because it makes them jump or that it makes them feel uneasy. Absolutely. But that response isn't linked to the need to control. Hence, therein lies the difference. Harry's wife, for instance, you may recall in parts pass him. I showed you a video, I think it took place in Ireland, where a young child was sort of touching her on the shoulder and touching her hair. And she was particularly irritated by that. Now, you might say, well, I'd be irritated if a child started prodding me. But undoubtedly, as a consequence of emotional empathy, you would take into account this is a child, that they're simply wanting to get your attention, and you would respond in an appropriate fashion. You wouldn't show irritation and annoyance in the way that Harry's wife did, even, of course, in a public space. So the facade didn't do its job. Thus, in that instance... The touching of her threatened her sense of control and caused her ignited fury to appear. She didn't go batshit crazy and turn around and punch the kid in the face. But her irritation was not concealed. You may recall that particular piece of video footage. And keep that in mind as I now show you some involving the Princess of Wales to enable you to compare and contrast the behaviours, so that you can understand more about the differences between the way that a narcissist would respond and the way that an empath would respond. Here comes the footage. There you are. Catherine is at an inclusivity event in relation to rugby, run, I think, by the University of Hull. And in the course of this, she's talking to a young man, and another one approaches her from behind and puts his hands on her, giving her a little tickle. And that causes her to jump and spin around. But notice, there's no flash of annoyance. There's no flash of irritation. It's genuinely jumping because somebody had touched her. And she turns around and she doesn't shove the individual away. She doesn't throat punch him or deliver a headbutt. She simply touches him, smiles, shakes hands and engages in conversation with him. Accordingly, she's surprised, but her response is governed by her emotional empathy. That 
is what is driving her behaviour. There is no irritation, there is no annoyance, because she doesn't experience a threat to control. Yes, it's a surprise to her that she's been touched from behind, and her surprise is demonstrated in the way that she responds. But it is demonstrative of the emotional empathy that she exhibits in the way that she responds with that young man. Thus, whilst he surprises her, and you can see that surprise, immediately she smiles, pats him on the back, shakes hands with him as to say, oh, you cheeky young scamp, and then asks him about something else going o over there. And away she goes, just her hair, and then you see her participating. Once again, there's no looking at the camera. She's engaged, getting on with it, showing off her lithe, athletic figure, talking to people and engaging with them. And there you can see that they're respectful and enjoying interacting with her. And Kate, once again, demonstrating her sporty side. She's not trying to outgun these individuals. She's not trying to compete with them. You see how her emotional empathy accords. Now, were this Harry's wife, it's likely that the first thing she would have done if she'd have been touched in that manner would have been bend over and say, give it to me, big boy. No, no. What she'd actually do is probably spin around and there would be the jutting jaw, perhaps the teeth exposed like an animal, that there would be a flash of ignited fury as a consequence of this threat to control manifesting. The facade would then jump in the facade management would kick in to keep the ignited fury under control so that she didn't administer a headbutt to the individual that had touched her. And she may well, of course, make a remark, make a joke about it. But what you would have seen, as opposed to with Catherine, where you see a flash of, where you see the look of surprise with Harry's wife, there would be a flash of annoyance irritation, the ignited fury, making its presence felt momentarily before the facade management kicked in. And thereafter, you wouldn't see Harry's wife running about in the manner of which Catherine has done, suitably dressed. She would, of course, be observing. She would be above joining in, because that's for the little people. It's not something that interests her. And, of course, because she lacks emotional empathy... It doesn't cause her to understand through feeling how she should engage with these individuals. The fact is the Princess of Wales is able to take a tickle and deals with it with surprise and then warmth governed by her emotional empathy. Were this Harry's wife, you would have just seen a flash of ignited fury instead. And then the facade management would have recovered. So it's not the case that she would have rugby tackled the individual to the ground and sought to pepper spray them or taser them, but you would have seen that flash. And thereafter, you would not see Harry's wife engaging with the individuals with the same degree of warmth and magnetism that is exhibited by Catherine. This is because Harry's wife operates with a facade, but it's not always that good notwithstanding her status as being a middle-mid-ranger. And also, you know what to look for by way of her behaviour, courtesy of your glorious narrator. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for watching.